This is the story of a detective who got too deep in a case. He made all the wrong choices for the wrong woman. And in the end, he paid for it. I got another case for you, Vinny. Oh no, Charlie. Can you see I'm swamped already? The guy said you say that. He said to remind you that you're already on report. One more mistake. Refused to carry out your duty, boy. We're in suspicion of certain activities. It'd be more than just a suspension. Besides, I got something you'll be interested in. Might even be your saving grace. Don't mess this one up. Neutral murdered in his own home. Why is there only one eye in this report? This place is supposed to be a fortress. Didn't any of the guards see anything? Thought that might intrigue you. All we could get out of his men was that he heard the shot. Rushed in, no assailant was found. At least that's what they tell us. The only eyewitness was his wife. No, I found it. So she heard the sound, rushed in, caught a glimpse of the pup escaping out the window. It seems a little suspicious, seeing as none of the guards saw the guy leaving. Sounds like an inside job to me. Okay, well, that's for you to find out. You come back to us later with some results. This camp's wants real results this time. Or else. he saw her, then he felt like he had seen a ghost, a memory from his past, the only woman he ever truly loved, standing right there in front of him. He hadn't seen her since he was a young man, but could it be, could it truly be her? He had to know. Ah. Uh. Beg your pardon, man, but but we met. You look strangely familiar. Oh my goodness, Vin! It's been so long since I last seen you. I'm sorry to hear about your recent loss. Yes, well, it hasn't been easy. I don't even know who I can trust anymore. I'm not sure how much you're aware of your husband's line of work, but we know that he conducted it in the illegal world. I know what my husband did for a living, detective. But he never shared that part of his life with me. And quite frankly, I preferred it that way. I know he had enemies. But I'm telling you, this happened on the inside. Are you telling me you think this was one of his men? I have my suspicions. Rico Brassi. Lucio's right-hand man before he was murdered. She said if anyone had anything to do with it, it would be him. But there was something troubling Vinny. Something at the back of his mind. A truth he refused to believe. Crazy. Who are you up to? Detective Vinny. Oh, okay. I guess you hear about the death of my boss. I'm here to ask you some questions. Well, I don't got no answers. Hold on. I haven't even heard what I had to say yet. Well. I don't got no answers, so you are going to go and have to take your questions somewhere else.
Now listen here, Rico. I don't have time to mess around, so you will talk. Now tell me why you killed the guy. I know it was you. What? Look, I don't know who you've been talking to, but that man was like a father to me. I would never have killed him. Oh yeah? Then who was it? His wife, Catherine. Yeah, and what's her motivation? I know, Cat, she wouldn't kill a guy she was unhappy with a marriage. And she's certainly smart enough not to kill a mob boss, especially if it was her husband. You act like you know her, but you don't know her at all. She's even earned herself a place at the table, and she's got the boss wrapped around her little finger. She killed him herself, and is trying to cover up everything that she did. She killed him herself, and convinced everyone to go along with it. What? You you're lying to get out of this. No, I'm not. I swear, I'll tell the judge the truth to prove my innocence. That man gave me everything. And now that little broad has got everyone wrapped around her little finger. Telling the truth. I am. I am. And I'm willing to go talk to a judge to prove my innocence, to prove that I never did anything to my boss. I can't let you do that. <laughs> Benny knew that he couldn't turn back now. He knew he had made his choice at this point. He had chosen love. But would it pay off? I saw Rico. And what did he have to say? Quite a lot, actually. Especially about you, Cat. Like what? That I killed my husband? Mm hmm. And a lot more. He told me that you become heavily involved in your husband's illicit activities. And you were not only the murderer, but a mastermind behind a coup to take over his entire family. Now I want you to know that I'm not going to turn you in. Told you too deep. Told you.